when you buy any vehicle, especially a rig, you better make sure that you look over your rig before you take it off the lot. You know a lot of common mistakes that a lot of people that buy a tractor end up doing. They be so happy and excited as they normally would and they don't take the time to really like look over what you're about to get because if you don't look it over and the thing is as soon as you leave the lot that truck is yours problems and all problems and all that's why if you got to take a mechanic with you to look over it but see with me i work on cars before i might not know diesel but diesel is not too much different from gasoline and i mean it's different as far as fuel wise but as far as the mechanical part of it, there's really no serious difference. So, so far, I got four new tires because these tires, of course, needed to be replaced. This one right here looks a little suspect, but I got them to replace that. And then I have a leaking airbag, got an air leak, had an engine light. Gotta check your suspension parts. Check that the power steering fluid. Check your steering linkage. Make sure it's not no play in it. Make sure all your joints and stuff is lubricated. Make sure you got no leaks in your air chamber, your air hoses, all your air hoses. Make sure that they top that cooling off. Definitely make sure you check your steer tires because you don't want no trouble with steer tires. You don't want no trouble. Look like I don't know if it was a coolant leak or nothing, but I know this coolant and it's still low. They gotta top this off. They have to top. I hope it's not an internal leak. Like I need to find out how long this engine been idling. Like give me idle hours so I know what I'm dealing with. Like check the suspension parts. Make sure that it's not bent. Or, or like just loose or crack or anything. But if the suspension looks good though. All right, let me go find my fleet manager because, and then the ignition switch, you know what a common issue with these Peter belts I found? Cause my homeboy, his, his Pete do the same thing. I'm about to do it. <laughs> but his, the key, you put the key in and the key turns in circles. I don't know if that's a common thing with these peaks. But these Peterbilt, you put the key in and it turns into circles. I don't know what that is, but replace that ignition switch. <laughs>